All right. Welcome to our session. This is Tia Samson taking you through Agriculture Grade 9 KGCA 2025 focus. The areas you need to study or to continue revising on. Overall structure of the paper, 906 stroke 1, total max 70. Section A, we have multiple choice questions. That is that of them. And that questions each one mark. So the total max there will be 30 max. Section B, we have um, structured questions and they are from number 31 to 42. Three task each uh, giving a total of 40 max. Now in section B, in section B, we have structured questions of 40 max total and the number of questions are only three. So the questions, uh, the number of tasks are three, but the questions are 12, short or structured questions, ranging from question that one to number 42, as we have said, and marks per question up to five marks. So each, and then we are told this is next standard cup. Section B, areas of specification or rubric where you need to base your revision on is crop production. So these are four to six questions. Uh, the marks are three to five marks per question and then giving us a total. So on crop production, look or look at cell preparation and planting, crop management, pest and disease harvesting and storage. They are structured questions. Remember this is section B. Then we also have what we call animal production, the types of livestock feeds and nutrition, housing and care animals, diseases. Uh, they are structured three to five questions, three to five marks per question, giving us a 10. And then we are given nutrition and home management. This is food. Groups remember agriculture involves a, it is a N, agriculture and nutrition. So food groups, balanced diet, food hygiene preservation methods, uh, they are structured questions. Number of questions is four to six questions, each three to five marks, giving us a 15. Then we go to what we call agriculture and environment, sustainable farming, soil cons conservation, waste management. These are structured. Uh, there are number of questions is two to four questions, and each is two to five marks, giving us 10 marks. Therefore, this gives us 40 marks. Next. Next on is the task. You can see them. You can see the numbers. Uh, task one in agriculture, we have number 31, number 32, number 33, number 34, number 35, 36, 37, maximum of 24, and task B, uh, task 2 is nutrition, 34, 39, 40, 41, and 42, maximum of 16, giving, giving us a 40. We go to the practical part of the project. This is practical task. We have example, planting of seeds, measuring fertilizers, uh, tool use, identifying seeds, tools, animals, simple record keeping, uh, that is 10 to 20 marks. Then project work, we have growing vegetables, uh, rearing small animals, documenting progress, record books, and written report, 10 to 20 marks. Then oral practical presentation, explaining findings to examiners, answering questions, and so on, that marks. So practicals, marked on correct steps, use of tools, accuracy in records, and presentation clarity. Total marks in 30, in 100 for the whole paper. Paper one, 70 marks, and paper two, practical project, 30 marks. Marking details, short structured questions, often two to five marks, practical uh, rubric covers, Procedures followed, uh, cleanliness and safety res uh, resource archived, quality report, and so on. Let us go to areas of spe specification. Areas of specification. This is where you need to be very keen, very serious. Um, uh, 
focus on crop production, animal production, nutrition, home management and agriculture and environment. So in crop production, 15 marks, uh, you need to look at this, the types of soil. Do you remember them? And their sustainability for crops. Then the methods of land preparation, that is, we have different methods of land preparation, the clearing, plowing, harrowing, then planting methods like direct seeding versus transplanting, then seed selection and treatment before planting. Then under crop management, look at thinning. You did this one in grade five also, gap filling, pruning, and so on. You can also revise weed control methods, manual, mechanical, chemical, and so on. Water management, irrigation, drainage, mulching, and so on. In pest and disease control uh, diseases, and uh, revise or focus on identification of common pests and diseases affecting crops. We are not uh, well done there. Kindly <laughs> practice. Then we have signs and symptoms of damage and control measures. In control measures, talk about the physical, the chemical, the cultural, the biological, and so on. So in harvesting, don't forget to look at appropriate harvesting time for various crops, uh, harvesting methods, storage structures and techniques, measures to prevent post-harvest losses, that is drying and pest control. Then after that, you go to animal production. We have seen also, we are also waiting for animal production. So focus on types of livestock. You remember them? The major livestock kept in Kenya. Cattle, goat, sheep, kashego, po. Kashego, po. Kashego, po. That is cattle, goat, sheep, poultry. And then you remember, you remember to... Uh, to, you remember rabbits and beets, then the breeds and their uses, that is milk, meat, wool, eggs, honey, and so on. Honey is from bees, wool, goat, and uh, sheep, then eggs for poultry, and so on. Then feeds and nutrition types of feed. We have energy, protein, mineral supplements, then feed formulation basics, uh, importance of clean water in animal rearing, then we have housing and care, types of animal houses, uh, qualities of good housing, that is space, ventilation, drainage, security. You can also revise with your neighbors or your friends. Yeah, if you're a teacher, you can also engage your learners, you can form a cut for them to see whether they have mastered this content. Then we have routine management practices, that is drainage, vaccination, grooming and so on again on that we can also look at you can look at animal diseases uh, the common diseases in livestock you're going to be asked a direct question or question structure that is requiring you to answer we have east coast fever uh, newcastle disease mastitis foot and mouth disease then signs of the diseases and control and prevention measures then after that, we go to nutrition and home management. This is 15 marks. We are given food groups, balanced diet, major food groups, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, water, fats, and oils, and importance of balanced diet for different age groups, uh, symptoms of nutrition, and so on. Then we have hygiene and safety. So principles of food hygiene, personal hygiene, clean utensils, uh, safe and food storage. Then we have prevention of food contamination. The last one on the same is food preservation methods. Food preservation methods, you know them, the traditional and the modern. Yeah, the traditional, or you can look at drying, salting, smoking, freezing, canning, Pickling and the reasons for preserving food there. You can talk about prevent spoilage, prolong shelf life, ensure food security, and so on. The other category is agriculture and environment. 
agriculture and environment yeah you can focus mainly on sustainable farming yeah meaning of sustainability in agriculture crop rotation and mixed farming organic farming practices agroforestry benefits then soil conservation you can talk about the types of soil erosion you remember them yeah that is gull erosion real erosion uh, sheet erosion and splash erosion then soil conservation measures uh, you can deal or dink this revision in terracing uh, strip cropping cover crops contour contour farming and so on then lastly is the waste management and the waste management talk about types of waste from agricultural activities methods of waste disposal like composting um recycling safe burial incineration and so on then we have the practical part so focus on practical skills documentation and oral presentation practical we said it is 10 to 20 marks then focus on hands on activities planting seeds and seedlings measuring fertilizer accurately identifying uh, identification of tools seeds fertilizer this one we talked about last the other time then crop diaries simple record keeping uh, feed records and growth monitoring records then proper use of and handling of agricultural tools measuring equipment protective clothing and safety pro precautions in practical work then we have the the project possible projects think this one you have done growing a vegetable crop yeah you remember when you are doing this yeah it was part of your <laughs> It was part of your assessment, the skuma wiki, tomatoes, rearing, small animals like this one. Which one did you do in your school? Then compost making for that one carried 10 to 20 marks. Uh, preparing and storing preserved food items, soil conservation demos, plots, and so on. Then we are given project documentation. Do you remember doing this? Yeah, diary or record book. We have date of activity, procedures, uh, followed observations, resource archi archived, uh, resource achieved, sorry, and then final report, a written report, the title page, introduction, materials used, procedure, resource, and so on. Then uh, the oral explanation of processes undertaken. And lastly, challenges faced, uh, lessons learned, and answering questions from examiners. Yeah, as simple as that. You can subscribe to our channel if you have not done so. And God bless you. Remember, this is uh, the revision article that was released to you people. Thank you.